Hi, I'm Lieutenant Todd Gordon. I'm with St. Pete Fire and Rescue. Uh, we're here in, uh, at Pierce in Appleton, Wisconsin to do the final inspection of our three new clean cab pumpers. Um, why don't you go ahead with me and we'll do a uh, walk around tour and I'll show you some of the features that, uh, that we've instilled in some of these units to uh, be a clean cab pumper. First, I'd like to start in the cab. <clears throat> Um, we went and basically um, sought all the recommendations from Pierce of what clean cab options that they provide and um, we pretty much chose every single option that they have starting with the uh, diamond plate floor where it's not porous and it won't collect any carcinogens we went with the light vinyl gray interior so that we can see any smudges or anything so it can be easily cleaned the light interior um, paint scheme um, on the command zone, we have uh, the options of, we have the carbon filters, and this, uh, the command zone will give us uh, the recommendation of when to change those um, filters on a time schedule. And it also, we have the aeroclave system, and it also tells us when the truck needs to be deconned. Uh, one of the other features that we have is the uh, aeroclave system, and uh, this is one of the dispensing nozzles right here. And uh, whenever the, uh, Command zone recommends that we decon the, the, uh, the cab of the truck. Then we'll go ahead and apply the, uh, connect the uh, aeroclave system and it will uh, decon the truck. And what, that, what the aeroclave system does is it, it um, works on any viruses, biohazards, communicable diseases, and it will you know, basically eradicate anything that's in the truck. Um, right now I'd like to uh, kind of explain to you what we did is, is we took the 60 inch cab that we normally do and we extended it we used Pierce's 84 inch cab um, design and basically made our new care locker. <clears throat> so what this is, is in our city, we're, we're a very aggressive fire department and the one thing that we needed to do was we needed to be able to dress four firefighters simultaneously without much interruption so we can do that by we have another set of this on the other side of the truck and what we do is we can actually dress one firefighter here dress one firefighter on the other side and uh, this care locker is basically what it'll do is is we'll be able to house a firefighter's bunker gear and pants his coat his helmet his uh, streamlight flashlight um, his thermal imaging camera and even a set of irons could be in here so <clears throat> Basically, it'll be like a one-stop shop, so we're not going to multiple compartments to get the necessary equipment to get, you know, um, to render aid or, you know, make it a fire attack. So we also added this um, pull-down shelf or pull-down uh, SCBA bracket. So that kind of, you know, gives it a little bit easier access to get it on. So also, again, this also has another dispensing nozzle for the aeroclave system. I'll show you the uh, ADT. ADP port that uh, you hook in the aeroclave system to and that will also get any communicable diseases anything that's on our gear basically um, get our gear clean so okay also um, one of the importance um, with our organization with our city is uh, we have a lot of historic districts downtown is you know we have a lot of alleyways so uh, one of the important things for us to do is to keep our wheelbase short. And Pierce was able to come in, going with a 45 inch pump housing. With the longer cab, we were able to um, keep our wheelbase under 200 inches. We actually came in at 198 and a half. So um, that was really important for us to be able to keep that, um, that wheelbase shortened. Um, we do all Watrous 1500 GPM pumps. Um, this one here is a single stage. Our other two apparatuses, they are a uh, dual stage um, 1500 GPM pump also. Body wise, we went with the 152 inch body. Um, interior, we went with the Night Spots uh, paint. I think it kind of highlights it, look, gives it a really nice look. So some obviously pull out shelves. We did uh, SCBA bottles here in the wheel wells. So we can do four SCBA, SCBA bottles. So this is General's apartment. Swing out tool board here. <clears throat> so 
Something new that we added, we added an additional courtyard discharge. So we'll actually have our courtyard load up here. Um, because of the clean cab, we've removed all of our um, suppression tools out of the cab. So I needed more compartment space. We went with the higher ladder rack. And we also now we're gonna put our high rise hose here. So we've had this skid made up so that we can load it and put it back in. This is generally where we store our EMS equipment. We have power so we can actually charge our, you know, our uh, fill monitor or our suction units. Couple. We also removed our uh, fire extinguishers out of the out of the body also. So now that we can actually store our fire extinguishers here on this side of the truck. <clears throat> Did a transverse backboard compartment. Uh, we have regular inch and three quarter cross lays. This is the other side. <clears throat> the other care locker. Identical to the other one. Same thing. Down here is where we hook in our aeroclave system. This one would be for the care locker for our bunker gear. And then we have another port right here. This would be for the cab. Uh, we go with the 26-inch uh, underslung bumper, so it gives us full capacity that we'll be able to house 150 feet of inch and three-quarter hose, a 15-foot section of six-inch soft supply, and a 35-foot uh, pony section of five-inch. Um, one other feature that we had added to this vehicle is uh, we did the uh, FRC's 360 in-view camera system. So we have cameras all on all four sides of the vehicle and actually gives us a down view um, of what's on the side of us, behind us, in front of us as we're uh, driving. And this is uh, the um, 360 view. Um, basically that's the front of the vehicle, the full 360, one side, and then there's the officer side. Our lighting package is all Whalen lights. Uh, we went with all the C6 Surface Max. We went with the new FireTech headlights, they're really bright. Um, Pioneer spotlights, or floodlights, all the way around the truck. A uh, the uh, Freedom 4 light bar. That's the uh, St. Peter St. Petersburg Fire Rescue Clean Cab Pumper.